Come with me to a place that never existed, but is remembered fondly. I don't remember much of this at all. It's always about you. John could have been class clown. Charismatic, charming, um, funny. You were very smart, very witty, and not always happy. If I was another person, I would have asked you out. I was going to have my artwork hanging in the Museum of Modern Art. An airline pile. I thought I would be a doctor. I thought I would be like a, a Supreme Court justice. I knew I wanted to be a student. I figured I was going to be a rock and roll star. I was going to go out and write songs and win Grammy Awards. One of my number one role models was Frank Zappa, and I thought I would become a Zappa-esque person. Uh, and, uh, and I didn't. I thought I would become an artist. Hitler wanted to be an artist. I don't know if you remember this. It could have been in 10th or 11th grade. I don't feel that much different from when I was in high school. But I think at that point I was just trying to figure out who I was. Which is of course an impossible task. And it makes for disaster. I would hear a song on the radio and I would say, I could do better than that. But I kept trying to put bands together. Something would cross my mind and I'd do it. It's like, that would be a good idea. Okay, I'll do it. There was actually a vision. I had a vision. And then, you know, I'd get married, have kids, and do the Ozzy and Harriet thing. And I started thinking that I have found my path. My faith in God has changed my, my ability to forgive. When life has given me lemons, I think I've been pretty good at making lemonade. I swore to myself that I wouldn't let small things get to me. Let's have the fast times and the good times now and worry about what we're going to do later on. I can't promise anything but the story, and the story is in the telling.